Ladies and gentlemen, King Kim, welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is down there on the S&P 0.12% negative. Nasdaq's down 0.3. Semiconductor got hit harder today, 1.3% negative. Down a little bit. Uh, small caps down 1%. Trends 4.3. Similar with the banks, uh, energy 1.3 and the biotech 1%. Healthcare's flat today, home builders are down 1%. Utilities is uh, green today, 1.79%. Only green print that we see today on the equities there. Uh, I remember, you know, while the uh, equities are, were up or other sectors and other indices were up, I remember utilities were down today, uh, kind of the opposite is continuing to happen for the utilities there retails down 1.1 percent emerging market down 1.4 there bitcoin down about a one percent there gold silver miners down also today dollar up slightly oil up one percent treasury bond up one percent vix is down about one or so let's stick with the s p 500 etf spider 65 minute chart here so what we talked about on the last night's daily update is that the bears need to see a island top reversal for them to see further decline well we didn't see that remember there's a gap right here you see there was a gap down it just wasn't big enough you see this is where it closed and this is where it opened we opened right on that gap area what happened was a gap got filled so once the gap got filled there was a little bit of cushion there, but bears did bring it down continually on the second hour. But keep in mind, my secondary short-term moving average was right in that vicinity. And you can see some buying the dip activities on the second hour and then a the third hour. And then we kept rallying all throughout the entire day uh, today after two days of oh, two hours of first two hours of downturn today this is why bears needed to uh turn that into an island top just bring it down and we should be talked about yes just bringing it down is not gonna cut it because there are too many support areas keep in mind 449.35 that's that's a double support why because there's a prior peak right here coinciding with my secondary short-term moving average so you can see a uh, prior uh you know resistance acting as new support and that's the level coinciding with my secondary short-term moving average, that pink dotted moving average there. And you can see how quickly we bounce in that, right on that vicinity there. And then that's what happened, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour, and last hour. So we close right underneath my short-term moving average. So you can see here my short-term moving average acting as what? Support support and then acting as resistance last couple hours it is not a coincidence it is not a mistake it is not a random occurrence that we close right underneath it today and not able to break above it same story here it is not a mistake that we bounce right at 449 prior resistance secondary moving average. so what happened was uh we are you know, sandwich between my short-term moving average and my secondary short-term moving average. So what the buyers need to do, because now that island top reversal dream that bears had last night, well, the dream is gone. We cannot have the island top no longer because that gap just got filled, right? so that and also what you know one thing that i just forgot to mention you see this gap right here that was open this morning that gap was filled quickly by the bulls you see how bulls are uh, you know just going out of the way going extra mile to make sure to fill this down gap despite the fact that when the gap gets filled this is a down gap it's gonna act as uh, instant resistance that's why we did see two hours of downturn today because that gap just got filled but it's better because it's making the way for the bulls to bring it up. Because if this gap was open, I think things could have been a little bit more hectic because we got this down gap at well, 453. And then if it's, there's a secondary down gap open, things could get a little bit more hectic for the bulls. But for the fact that bulls close that gap quickly on the first hour, even knowing when the gap gets filled, it's going to act as resistance. That's what we said, two hours of move. But you can see my secondary uh, short-term moving average and the pivot there holding that 449 and bring it right back up. So now this is very, very important. What happens first 
two hours of tomorrow's price action. What we need to see is price thrusting above and holding above this short-term moving average here, staying above it at least first two hours of trading session tomorrow. And then ultimately, you know, bulls wanna go up here and fill this gap, pull back, maybe that short-term moving average kind of rise like this, use it as support, and then go after the new all-time highs. This right here, this scenario right here, will be the best case scenario for the bulls right now obviously you know we're right on that pivot right prior support acting as new resistance it's kind of a double resistance also looking at things in the micro term because that's a prior support acting as new resistance and then the, in the short term moving average is also there so 450 is that resistance level if you want to make this transition as smooth as possible probably gapping up to like 450 180 or so and then get up Feel it and then come down all throughout the day maybe kind of end the day towards somewhere here and then get back up next day that might be another scenario that bulls are looking for so in any case bulls need to get above 450 94 that's the level that the bulls need to get above and hold above in the first two hours if you're a bear hey you know this resistance still applies as of now you can see right there we held it right there so gapping it down shenanigan down downturn or something like that breaking below 449 would be the best case scenario for the bears what bears want to do you can see we got the high lower highs and lower lows so in the micro term to short term uh the trend is down so bears maybe want to continue in that but just make sure buy if buyers start coming up here and filling this gap and turn that into a, like you know reclaim this high right here you see that high that swing high this swing, if, if the bulls reclaim that swing high and then cultivate their own higher low like this, well, that will be game over for the for the bears. And keep in mind, my sec. I'm gonna zoom out here. My secondary short-term moving average does have some resume here. Here, I'll give you right there. You can see we've seen this type of price action before. There's that pullback right there. Guess where we found support right on that short-term moving, secondary short-term moving average. Keep on, my secondary short-term moving average is rising. When you see my secondary short-term moving average rising, you wanna give benefit of the doubt to the buyer. You see over there, over here, you can see right here, reclaim that short-term. You can go back and check my analysis back in August 3rd. That's probably what I said right here. Support, uh, bulls need to reclaim it right there, pull back, retest short-term, and then go higher. Probably exact same thing that's what bulls and go up here reclaim the short term call pull back retest the short term and then get back up that's i think what bulls want to do and bears need to act fast to break below that uh secondary short and you know short term moving average and get back down to this gap area and uh, we'll have to see how the market plays out tomorrow want to check out the oscillator see oscillator is right at support now you can see right there this is where we found support right here and that's that's that and then right here and that's that and we're right here and that's that so it hasn't crossed yet though you can see we're just kind of hanging out you know it hasn't fully crossed so i think if we see a move tomorrow first two hours breaking reclaiming above that short-term moving average go after this gap for sure we will see this thing crossing up maybe something like this something like that if that's the case there's a good chance that gap is going to be filled and then market is getting ready to go after 455 457 let's see how the market plays out i'll come back for you enjoy your evening and glove drink tomorrow